what is research design or methodology? What are methods? We often hear these terms as postgraduate students and they seem to be taken to be self-evident. Yet designing a, a study that works and writing about the design choices you have made and how you have conducted your research is often quite challenging for postgraduate students. The methodology chapter is not just a requirement you have to get through, citing abstract terms and descriptions from textbooks. This is a vital part of any sound research project and must be carefully considered. To begin, your methodology looks at the overarching re reasons for your choice of methods and makes an argument for why they fit your project. This is your basic research design and looks at big issues. For example, whether your study is qualitative or quantitative, exploratory and causal, and why this design has been chosen. The methods are then the tools you will use to actually generate the data you have decided to collect or gather. Remember that the tools you choose are determined by the research methodology or design, and the research design is determined by the question you are seeking to answer. There needs to be a clear connection between these elements of your study. There also needs to be a clear connection between the theory or concepts you are using to frame your research and the methodology you have designed. This is largely because when you begin to analyze your data, you need to theorize, you need to use theoretical tools to make meaning from your data in answer to your research question. Your methodology chapter also discusses how your data has been organized and analyzed without yet going into the analysis. So the theory needs to be pulled through here to help inform your research design. When you are planning your study, these are a few questions to get you started. What is the point of my study? What am I trying to research here and why? What kind of research would I need to do? Think size and scope and also what kinds of data you would need. Then think about what kind of design would be rational here. Exploratory, qualitative case study, causal, quantitative, multi-site study. Why are you using the research design or methodology you have chosen? How will it help you answer your research question? How are the methods part of your overall design? And how will you use them to generate and organize your data? How will your study design shape your analysis? Importantly, this chapter or section of your study is an argument for what you will, you will do, how this research will be done, and why the chosen methodology and methods fit your project, study, or project. Methodology and methods are important to take your time with. Connecting theory with methodology and then connecting both together in a thoughtful and meaningful analytical process to really strengthen your contribution to knowledge will take time and a lot of effort. But remember that it is worth the effort and time because a clear, well-explained and carefully chosen research design tells the reader that your study is credible and that your findings are sound. This is vital at postgraduate level where your research will impact on knowledge and perhaps also practice within your field. 